All right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. All right, thank you, Sergeant Brown. Members of the jury, good morning. Good morning. All right, we've had some business we need to take up, so appreciate you uh, being patient with us with the delay. Um, Mr. Copeland, good morning, sir. Good morning. All right, sir, you're still under oath. All right, Ms. Um, Hilton, you may proceed when ready. Good morning. You have permission to approach? No. She's asking me that, Mr. Copeland, okay? All right. Okay. Um, counselors, you want to take a look at what counsel for the state is going to show you? You may not. Mr. Pope, I'm showing you what's been marked as 378 Yankee Alpha Uno and Yankee Alpha Uno. Can you please look at both of those? Looking at 378 Yankee Alpha One, do you see yourself in this image? Yes. All right. And as we talked about last week, you recall going into an interview at the Atlanta Police Department the night that Nut died. I don't recall. Looking at this interview, you see the dates of January 11, 2015 on this. Yes. Your Honor, this time the state would like to tender 6378 Yankee Alpha and Yankee Alpha Uno into evidence. Yankee Alpha and Yankee Alpha One? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, any further objection to states uh, 378 Yankee Alpha or Yankee Alpha 1, other than has it been stated already? All right. It's, it's already right there. I'm sorry? It's admitted and maybe published as you see fit. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, we're going to fast forward to 259.18 when the interview begins. Okay. <clears throat> or we'll start at 258.34. Yes. Madam, you're playing two, um, just for the record, you're playing one. What well, we started at 258. Of which is it? This is 398 Yankee Alpha. 378 Yankee Alpha. Can you hear me? If you talk to him away, it's how you get my attention. Talk to my attention. Okay. You're going to talk. Then I'm going to talk to his family. Okay? And I'm going to let his family put it out. But please speak to him one thing at a time. Okay, Ken? One thing at a time. All right? I know, man. It's, it's frustrating. He's not going to stop. Okay? The brother, don't, he don't, he, he, I don't know what I did to this man, bro. 
He won't. He, he, I, I, I've been face to face with him, bro. I shoot his hand like he's old, bro. He's not no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because that's why you going to sit down. You gonna tell me what's going on between you and him? And then we go from there. Okay. What's gonna happen after the date, though? What you mean? When I talk to him, okay. So, I'm gonna take care of that place. Like you said, get the family, his family, to tell them to leave you alone. If they ain't got no proof showing that you did anything, they need to leave you the fuck alone. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Today's date is January 10, 2015. Time is approximately 0300 hours at 3 o'clock a.m. I'm here with Mr. Kenneth Copeland. Yes. And Mr. Copeland, can you give me your date of birth, sir? July 25th, 1991. July 25th, 1991? Yes. Okay. You got the middle name, Mr. Copeland? Xavier. Xavier. Okay. This is a reference to the homicide investigation of a um, victim name of Donovan Thomas. It happened at 330 McDaniel Street, Southwest, City of Atlanta, Fulton County, State of Georgia, on January 9th, 2015, with uh, another police case number 15010210206. When you ready, Mr. Copeland, uh, tell me exactly what you know dealing with this situation. <laughs> like, now, uh, no, everything. Tell me everything. What makes, what makes, what makes you want to pull you into this situation happen? Okay. okay. Me and, me and Kel. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Now, we had a problem in the club. Is that him? No, this is nothing. Okay. Alright. Kel, they say this to look brother, but I thought he just changed it, but they said they real brothers. Okay. K-E-L. Everybody's just right side. 